Michael Cohen came back to the House Intelligence Committee today for an extra eight hours of testimony that wasn't even originally supposed to happen and is a sign of just how pivotal it was, Cohen showed up with three suitcases of evidence. Now it's all coming out in rapid fashion. Democratic Congressman Jim Himes, who sits on the committee and was present for today's Michael Cohen testimony, just told CNN that the transcript will soon be made public. We're assuming that portions of it will be redacted, at least for now, due to the nature of the ongoing criminal investigations. But we already know one key piece of what transpired today, and apparently two, and let's just say that two of Trump's people are likely headed to prison as a result of it. Dot first came the news that Michael Cohen provided the committee with documents today proving that Donald Trump's criminal defense attorney Jay Sekulow instructed him to lie under oath to Congress in 2017 about Trump Tower Moscow. Considering that Cohen is headed to prison for lying under oath to Congress, it seems a given that Sekulow will now head to prison with him. Then came the apparently related news that Rudy Giuliani sent two unnamed attorneys to dangle a pardon in front of Michael Cohen after his office was raided by the FBI. That's conspiracy to commit felony obstruction of justice, and it means Rudy should also be packing his toothbrush for prison. So two of Trump's lawyers are facing prison, and those are just the two scandals that have surfaced so far in relation to Cohen's testimony today. Just wait until the transcript gets published.